Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix 100% CPU usage both on Windows 11 and 10. This will also boost the FPS for the gaming performance. So if you have the same problem where your CPU usage goes to 100 or nearby 200 and you, your whole PC lag and you're not able to do anything, then simply follow the solution. The video can be long guys because I'm going to share five methods because these all five methods are very important and this will definitely give you a, a huge change if this works for you guys do not forget to like and subscribe for me now the first thing that you have to make sure that your windows has been updated because especially when you're using windows 11 lots of new updates are coming up because there are lots of bugs we feel on windows 11 so you need to check for update all the time it's click on the search icon and then type windows update windows update settings will be coming up click on it and now it that it asked me for the restart for the pending updates if you have the similar message you just need to go with the update so once you have updated now we have to disable all this startup application just press windows and r key on your uh, computer and just type ms config now click on ok now here click on startup and then click on open task manager now here you'll find a startup so click on the startup tab and now you have to look for all those applications that you don't use you don't identify you simply you need to disable them don't worry the application will be working fine on your pc but the only difference will be that it won't be coming up automatically along with the computer. So let's say if I don't use, I have a Discord here and a Skype here, okay? So probably in your case, it should be enabled. So what you have to do, just make a right click on it and then go with disabled, okay? And if I don't want to use this team, so I will make a right click on it and choose disable. So same you have to do with all the application that are showing and displaying here okay so once you are done close everything and in the next step we have to disable all the unused application running in the background so just make a right click on the windows icon and from here choose settings now from the left hand menu click on apps and then here you will find apps and features now this will display all the application running in your computer, installed on your computer. So what you have to do, whichever application you don't use, you don't identify, you just need to disable them. If you don't use Audacity, okay, I use it, I will leave it. Uh, I don't use camera, so I click again on it, advanced option. And it's check to power optimized. So what I will do, I will go with never, okay. Again, go back to apps. Look for other applications. You don't have to leave anything, okay? You have to work hard and look for all those applications that you don't use. I don't use Candy Crush. So I click on it, advanced option, power optimized and make it to never. Go back. So same you have to do with all these applications. So once done, close it. And now we have to make some changes with the power management. So click on the search icon, just type edit power and choose edit power plan. Now here click on change advanced power settings. And you can see it's been selected to balanced active. So we just click on the drop down and go with ultimate performance. So once you select it, just scroll down a bit and you will find an option processor power management just make a double click on it and then double click on minimum processor state so on battery you just need to from 5 you just need to make it 0 and in the maximum state you just make sure these both options are checked to 100 once done click on apply and then click on ok we are all set with this part now just make a right click on the windows icon and from the list choose device manager. 
Now in the device manager, you scroll down to the bottom and you will find system devices. So make a double click on it. And then you need to look for high, high precision event timer. Just make a right click on it and choose disable device. Then click on yes. And close the box. Now the finally what we have to make changes is we have to disable few services from the Windows PC. So that services run in the background and they really occupy a lot of CPU. So in order to do that, just click on the search icon and type services. And here you'll find services app. Click on it. So here the first services that we have to disable is this main. So in order to look for it, just click anywhere and then press the S key, S as in Singapore. And now just look for sysmain, like here it is. Just make a right click on it, properties. And it's been a startup type set to automatic. You have to disable it and then click on stop. So this will stop this service, then click on apply and then on OK. Now the next thing what we have to disable is Windows Search. So press W key and look for Windows Search. Here it is. Now before disabling, I would like to tell you Windows Search is an important feature that help us in indexing the result uh, quickly. But as this occupy a lot of CPU, so you can just try disabling it if you don't need this feature. Okay. In future, if you feel that you need it, you can just come back again and enable it back. So make a right click again, choose properties and then go with disabled and stop. Once done, click apply and then on OK. The next what we have to do is Windows Update. So just below Windows Search, here you will find Windows Update. So what this do that it automatically look for the update. And that basically occupy a lot of CPU usage behind the app application and the computer. So what you have to do is just need to make a right click on it and then click properties again, go with disabled and then click apply and OK. OK, now if you have any update, you can manually go and search for it. OK, so that only the difference it will make. Now, once you are done with all these methods, simply restart your PC and you will find that the CPU, 100% CPU usage issues, both on Windows 11 and 10 has been resolved. If yes, if you find the change, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's all guys, meet you in the next session. Bye-bye.